For quite a while now, my daily driver radio has been the Radio Master Boxer. I think it's just about the perfect combination of compact size, good ergonomics, still has full size AG01 gimbals, one watt Express LRS built in, and still pretty functional, even though it doesn't have that big color touchscreen of the TX16S. But today, I'm going to show you the radio that is replacing the Radio Master Boxer as my new daily driver radio. And as much as I would like to clickbait you and tease you, to wonder, ooh, what could it be? I'm just gonna let you in on the joke. You ready? My new daily driver radio is also from Radio Master, and it is. <laughs> it's the new Radio Master Crush. It's a Radio Master boxer, but in better colors. And they said, what color do you want? And I said, obviously hot pink, right? I'm not sure part well, and you're going to learn something today. <laughs> oh, God. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Yeah, of course I want it in hot pink. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. Okay, well... I think I'm hilarious. But what's the actual point of this video? And we'll start off by saying this is not a review of the Radio Master Boxer Crush because the Radio Master Boxer Crush is just a Radio Master Boxer in fancy colors. That doesn't warrant a whole review video. What we're gonna do in this video instead is I wanna walk you through the process of setting this radio up, updating the firmware, and moving all my models and settings over from this radio and copying them to the Boxer Crush. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna power this radio up and I'm gonna see what firmware version is on it and I'm gonna bet that it is not the latest firmware version. Uh, and although it's not absolutely mandatory that you update the firmware as soon as you get the radio, in fact, if you don't feel confident following along with the process I'm gonna show you in this video, then you shouldn't update the firmware. Maybe you should just stick with what's on there because if you screw it up, you may just, well, you're not gonna permanently damage your radio, but you may render it to a point where you can't get it functional again, and then you're gonna be really annoyed. I'm gonna to page to the version screen, and I'm gonna see that I'm on edgetx 2.8.4. And then I'm gonna to go to this website, which I'll link down in the video description below. It is the edgetx Buddy website, which is where you can flash and update edgetx firmware. And I see that the latest is edgetx Centurion 2.10.3. And I don't know what all has been added or if it really matters, but just for the, just for fun, we're going to go ahead and update this firmware. And the first thing I'll want to do is I'm going to want to back up the SD card contents off my radio. The SD card contents are not always easy to find online. Now, there is on the HTX Buddy website an SD card editor, which will update your SD card contents to the factory fresh defaults, but Radio Master includes some extra stuff on here that wouldn't be included if you were to use that tool. For example, if I press Sys, you can see they've got some games on the Boxer. Asteroids, Breakout, Pong, Snake. No kidding. They've got a version of Tetris that you can play using the sticks. How do you... Oh, there we go. Oh, God, I suck at Tetris. You can play. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why? Okay, so I'm bad at Tetris. That stuff it was not standard. I don't know where they found these, but they're including them. And I want to back them up so I don't lose them if anything happens. It's always a good idea to do this because, honestly, the SD card that comes with these radios, sometimes it just craps out because it's, like, pretty cheap. And so you're going to want to keep these contents. The way I'm going to back it up is I'm going to go ahead and plug in USB to the USB port at the top of the radio. And then here on the radio screen, I'm going to see three options, USB joystick, USB storage, and USB serial VCP. What we want to do is select USB storage using the jog wheel, and that is going to give us access to our SD card. Now, when I do that, two new USB drives are going to pop up on my screen. And this one, Radio Maxer Boxer with firmware.bin and firmware.txt, close that, do not touch it. You will screw up your radio if you mess with that. But we want to mess with this one, USB drive J, which has all this stuff. This is our SD card contents. And what I'm going to do basically is I'm just going to right click, select all. No? Okay, how about control A? And then I'm going to right click, copy. Why would copy not be in the right click menu? What the hell, Windows? Oh, we have to use icons now. Oh, show more options. Copy. Shut the hell up. I'm just going to use freaking keyboard shortcuts like I wanted to in the first place. So control A, control C for copy. And then we will just make a new folder somewhere. New folder, Windows 11. Just call it SD card backup and control V for paste. And we're just gonna read this stuff off the SD card and copy it onto our hard drive and we'll have it backed up. 
Now that my SD card is backed up, uh, let's go ahead and update the firmware on the radio. Uh, we're gonna do that by going to the EdgeTX Buddy website and the radio firmware screen. And what I'm actually gonna need to do is unplug USB from the radio and power the radio down. Then with the radio powered down, we're gonna plug USB in again. And we will see these lights make this little blinky sequence. That's putting the radio into what's known as bootloader or DFU mode. And that's the mode the radio needs to be in in order to update the firmware. Next, we're going to select our firmware version and we'll just pick the latest. And we're going to select our radio model and we'll just type Boxer, Radio Master Boxer. And then we will hit flash via USB. Now, at this point, well, first of all, you have to be using Chrome, I believe, in order for this to work. Uh, maybe other Chromium-based browsers will work, but the serial interface that needs to happen between the browser and the radio doesn't work on, like, Firefox, as far as I know. Uh, the other thing uh, you need to know is if I just hit Add New Device here, I should see STM32 bootloader here in the list in the upper left. And if you do not see STM32 bootloader, your drivers may be messed up. You may need to download an app called Impulse RC Driver Fixer and run that app and it will find and fix the drivers for your STM32 device, the Radio Master Boxer. I'll put a link to that app down in the video description below if you've never done it before, uh, but you basically have to do that like once, sometimes if this is the first time you've done this and then probably never again. I'm just gonna go ahead and select the STM32 bootloader and hit connect. And now we will hit next and start flashing. And now that the radio has been flashed, we'll go ahead and set up our SD card. And, okay, so no, not plugged into USB. So we will unplug USB. We will power up the device. Welcome to SD Okay, and we will plug back in and select USB storage, just like we did before. And the USB drive pops up. Great, we'll hit select SD card here. And we're gonna go and find, there's our USB drive right here. Yes, USB drive J, that is the SD card on the radio. We'll select that folder. We'll allow those permissions. Centurion 2.10.3 is what we just flashed. Radio model is Boxer. I wonder why it couldn't detect it. This is why I wanted to back up those files on the SD card because like if this like wipes stuff out, that's important. I don't know, maybe it matters. We'll pick for language, we'll pick Eng... Is the Bardwell sound pack in here? The Bardwell sound pack should really be in here. We'll just select English. Ooh, Michelle, Sarah. For some reason, I'm tempted to just select Michelle or Sarah instead of just English, but I won't. Don't be horny. And I'll hit apply changes. Oh, removing existing data. Will this wipe out all those cool apps that are on the SD card? I guess there's only one way to find out. Okay, it's finished. It's, it's done. Like, let's see what happened. We'll unplug. Radio seems ready to go. Biggest question, is Tetris still there? Yes, Tetris is still there. Oh, Pong. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Hoo -hoo -hoo. The blur on the screen really makes it hard to get that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, there you go. Well, I guess that still works. <laughs> what about the rest of the radio? Firmware version, good, 2.10.3. Okay, next thing we gotta do is we gotta get all my models on this radio. Uh, and there doesn't seem to be an easy way to do that with ExpressLR, with HTX Buddy, but I think I have a workaround. So we'll plug in USB to the old radio and it brings up the SD card contents. And I'm gonna grab the models and the radio folders, and I'm gonna copy them to my desktop. The models contains all your models. The radio contains radio specific configuration options. And I think that if I copy both of those to the new radio, I will basically copy my config over. Don't try to do this if you're not copying between the exact same model of radio. If you try to do this between like a Boxer and a TX16S, you will not get the results that you are hoping for. And plug in the new radio, select SD card storage, and we will just delete the radio and models folder, which is safe to do because I already backed it up. And then we will drop these guys in here and we will cross our fingers that when we unplug USB, look at that, it says ELRS, that's the correct name of my model. If I press the model key, here's all my models. Yay, that's exactly what I wanna see. Everything seems right. Oh yeah, everything's here. Custom curves, everything. What? Oh, that's from an old video. I don't use that. That's interesting. And what about my special functions? Like for example, does the left knob control the, radio, the green brightness? It does. Does the right knob control the volume? I don't know how I would tell that. Anyway, 
great. Calibration value is all correct. All correct. Everything seems fine. Everything seems right. You may want to recalibrate your gimbals at this point. And if you need to know how to do that, I've got a video specifically about the correct way to calibrate your gimbals. Uh, it's possible, I'm not sure, but the calibration data from the old radio got copied to the new one. And since these are not the exact same gimbals, you would want to recalibrate them. Mine seem to be reading correctly, so I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, what else might I check? Like in radio setup, I would want to check that like the ADC option is turned off. ADC filter, where's ADC filter? I think that should have gotten copied over though. Startup sound, did the battery threshold get copied? Let's see. No, see, some settings still didn't, like my volume settings didn't copy over. So there's still a couple little changes I'll need to make. That's not the end of the world. Okay, there's one more thing we need to do, and that is we need to make sure that we can bind this radio to all of our ExpressLRS models. And the good news is that with ExpressLRS bind phrases, one of the biggest advantages of them is if you have a new radio or if you're gonna be using like more than one radio, not at the same time, obviously, but if you're gonna be switching back and forth between radios, then it's super easy. You don't have to rebind all your models. You just have to put your bind phrase into the new radio and it will instantly bind to all of your existing models. Let's long press the sys key and start the Express LRS Lewis script. And we will go down to Wi-Fi connectivity and we will enable Wi-Fi on the Radio Master Boxer. Then here on my machine, I'm gonna to go to my Wi-Fi settings and I'm gonna look for the ExpressLRS TX Wi-Fi network and I'm gonna to connect to it. And here in my web browser, I'm gonna to go to 10.0.0.1 and I'm gonna look, my firmware is 3.3.1. That's okay, that's almost the latest firmware. Well, that's fine, we'll stick with 3.3.1. But what I'm gonna to need to do is, I need to make sure this page is completely loaded. Hello, looks like it hasn't completely loaded. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put my binding phrase in and I'm not gonna show you what it is. I'm just gonna type it in there and click save. And now that's it. This radio is now bound to all of my models. Isn't that great? Well, that's really weird. I've just pressed model and paged to my telemetry screen to see that there are no telemetry sensors here. I would have thought those had been copied over with the, with the model but apparently they weren't. I'll need to plug in a new quadcopter and discover sensors before my telemetry will start working. It's kind of weird and it should bind instantly. I said it should bind. Solid. Oh, I have two radios. They're both radios are powered on. It bounds the wrong one. You can't have both radios powered on. Hold on, try again. Telemetry connected. There we go. Uh, so then I'm going to model page to telemetry. Go to discover new sensors and boom, sensors all come in. Weird, weird that that didn't, wasn't already there. I'm not sure why, there you go. Must be stored somewhere that I didn't copy over. And now if I go to the telemetry screen, boom, all good, all good. I hope you have enjoyed watching me set up my new garish magenta pink fuchsia, whatever color this is, set up my new radio. And if you're in the same situation as me and you're trying to set up a new radio and get it on the latest firmware and stuff, I hope this video has been instructional for you. Thanks to Radio Master for sending this to me. If you're interested in picking up a Radio Master boxer in these new stylish colors, uh, then I'll put links in the video description below where you can pick them up. And if you do pick it up, it would mean a lot to me if you use those links because they are affiliate links. What that means is that when you click that link and then you make any purchase at the affiliated vendor, I get a little commission. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It just forces the manufacturer to send me a little bit of money. It's a little bit of money, but it does add up and it means a lot when you use those links. That's gonna do it for this video though. I gotta give you something else to watch. What about the original review of the Radio Master Boxer and another one that I can't think of yet. Enjoy.